Hey everyone, it's a little bit windy today, but I've got this kind of a solo stove knockoff. Red Mountain Valley. I'm going to check it out. I got some wood cut up, some chunks. Try that. Some bigger stuff, smaller stuff, even smaller stuff there. Some dryer lint, just, just in case. Cut all that up with my new little hatchet here, which is pretty cool. Let's get this thing opened up and check it out. All right, so it comes inside this awesome drawstring bag. Pretty good material. You've got the uh, unit itself, and it has on the bottom here, it's got these fold out legs. So we'll fold those out. It comes with this. Uh, little fireproof thing to set on. We'll try that. Put that there. There we go. Lock that back in place. Got that. And it comes with this tray, like an ashtray here that goes in here. Like so. There we go. Got that in there. And it comes with this pellet chimney. I don't think we're going to use that. It sits in there. You put your pellets in there so it'd have airflow around the pellets. It doesn't really stay or anything. I don't think we'll use that. And then it has your ring here. You don't want to block these right here, so I'm going to put it up like this. We'll let it get going first. I'm going to start with some uh, dryer lint and some of the smaller stuff I have here in my bucket. We'll get that going. Get you set up on the tripod here. We'll get that going. That didn't take long at all to get started. It's got really good airflow. Throw a couple more little pieces in there. I'll put this on there. We'll 
we'll see how long some of those chunks last. Make a great little fire pit somewhere where there's not a fire pit. What little wood is in there is really putting off some heat. I only put a handful of just some small pieces of wood in there and it's really going. Get you a look overhead. Put a chunk of wood in there. I'm gonna put a couple pieces of small, small pieces in there. One more. This little fire pit stove can, can use pellets or wood. Started really fast on that wood, as long as you got a little bit of fire starter to get going, it lights really quick with the airflow. Get you a closer up look on that. As it gets hotter, you can see around the edges right there with the airflow. It starts to take shape there. Let's get a little bit hotter. Let's throw another little chunk in there. Get it good and hot one time. All this wood that I cut up here just come off of a little limb. That was probably around, uh, I don't know, four inches in the di diameter. About four inches in diameter, give or take. That little thing is really putting off a lot of heat. Works really good. I don't see any smoke, but just a little bit coming out of that. Well, all in all, this thing works pretty good. Puts off a lot of heat. And I put just a few pieces of wood in there and it's been going for about 15, about 15, 20 minutes so far. I'll show you what's left inside. Putting off a lot of heat. Well, I guess that's gonna do it for this one. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to check out this stove. Not that much at all. Pretty cheap. 
compared to the rest of them out there. Thanks for coming over. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And as always, plan, prepare, and practice. Andy out.